Hi folks, this is Darren with My RV Works. We're in Squim, Washington today, and I have a particular, particularly, I think I said that, particularly challenging task. Over here I have a 100 pound air conditioner that I need to get up on the top of that roof. And so I've developed over the years a, a tool that I'm gonna show you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ladder right here and some stuff that I have inside of this box, and I'm gonna build a crane. You're like, Darren, you're crazy. Well, watch how I do this. Um, and uh, this came to me uh, after doing a couple of these air conditioners um, in the hot Texas summer and 100 and some odd degrees. And uh, I said there had to be a better way to do this. So follow along with me as I build my crane. Okay, so I've, I've laid everything out. And again, I'm gonna make, um, in the description below the video, I'll have a list of all the things that I've used. You can have hyperlinks to them all. And so what I've started off with is, what is this thing? A super winch, LS3000. It's an ATV winch. The key on the winch is it needs to be able to lock going up or going down. Some of these winches free spool. You don't want that for this. And um, so then I've made these little bolts. You'll see me when I build it. They, these are gonna strap on to the ladder rung. Okay, we'll see that in just a second. Now on the controls, I've taken all the controls and I've put them into a box. So this connects to here like that. You'll see it when it's on the ladder and I can control it from this button in and out, but I can also take this 12 foot lead and connect it here. And then I can stand up on the roof and control the winch or down on the ground and control the winch. Use a battery pack on these leads right here to connect, to give me power to everything. And this is usually enough to run what we need to do. I'm going to open up my ladder to make it really tall, use a twisted clevis, and then this on the top, feed your line through the whole thing, and you've just created a cable, uh, um, you know, a, a crane, if you will. Um, and then a whole bunch of straps over here. We're going to use straps to tie this ladder down really well because we don't want it moving when we're elevated. We're going to be pulling the air conditioner up above the roof line, and so we really want to make sure that the straps have got this ladder down pretty securely. And so we're going to use a lot of straps, and then we're going to strap everything the um, the box okay so that's the parts oh and you're going to need a wrench and and all of this fits in a pelican box so um, i wanted something that i could just put in a suitcase like that in my service trailer i use a ladder for a lot of things and as i was designing this i came up with all these different elaborate schemes with hydraulics and all this crazy stuff and and it just came to me to just use what i have a ladder winch and then do it like this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to attach the ladder now behind me let me show you i've walked around the rv the air conditioner we're going to be replacing is all the way in the front and so i um i decided the best place to go up they have awnings out and the sun's on that side and i don't want to put it in the rear because the air conditioner's in the front and this thing weighs 100 pounds so it's not that i'm like the hulky guy but i just don't feel like carrying a 100 pound air conditioner from the front to the back so of all the places to carry this air conditioner up we're going to go right between these two slide rooms I'm gonna be putting my ladder here. There is one thing you're gonna be missing and that's some furniture pads. I need to go grab those, I forgot. But I'll put furniture pads down along the side of the RV to protect the paint and protect the finish. We're gonna be going up at a kind of a pretty steep angle and we're gonna to have to make sure that when we bring it up, we clear these two things. So we're going up and going down, we're gonna to try to be as skinny as we can be to make it up and down. Um, so with that, or let's say without any further ado, I'm gonna start building my ladder, uh, making it long and um, so when you join us again, we pretty much should have some of this established and then I'll show you where I've strapped things off, okay? So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, folks, um, so as you see, I've got the ladder extended to the highest it could go. You remember this thing was only like, what, four feet tall? And look at the thing, it's way the heck up there. Uh, we got a little caught up in the tree, but uh, I'm glad I carry insurance because we almost had a, an insurance claim. Anyway, but we did good. Hey, there's our fan club, yay. They go everywhere we go. So now I'm strapping the ladder down because I don't want it to move at all when I have it. When I have the load over the top of this, over the top, I don't want um, I don't want it to move. I want to own that ladder. And so I'm using these straps to kind of strap that thing down. So I'm going to crawl underneath and hopefully find something to anchor to. Next is these little plates I made here. This goes like that.
There we go. Like Darren, how do you think up these things? Well, active. Yeah, I got a hot tub. <laughs> you sit in a hot tub. You, you go to the, you assign yourself the hot tub with a uh, with a problem, and then you marinate on it for a while. Add a little scotch. No, this was a Johnny Walker idea. I got to give Johnny props. This was a Johnny Walker idea. I'm like. How am I gonna get that air conditioner up on that roof when it's 100 pounds and it's 100 degrees? And uh, so it's amazing what a hot tub and Johnny Walker can come up with. He's got me into trouble too. So. Anyway, it's kind of a joke. <laughs> okay, my wife's back there shaking her head. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, so we've got this secured, 13 millimeter downrange right there. Uh, sweetheart, can you hand me the twisted clevis and the pulley? All right, I can call her sweetheart, you guys can. So here we have the twisted clevis and the pulley. And now we have to uh, figure this part out. Okay, I'm gonna leave the hook right there, okay? And uh, I want this through like that. Okay, now, here we go. The ladder strapped down on three points, and I'm gonna come up behind it. Let me make sure I'm loose. There's this clutch thing here. There we go, okay. So here we go. Now you notice I got the furniture pads that I'm leaning up against. There we are. Okay. So, what I don't want to do here, so I'm going to bring the cable around and then back again. I don't want it to rub against my furniture pad. Okay. Twisted clevis on the top rung. And then our pulley. Now, for you to do this, don't get this kind of pulley. Get the kind that slides open. I got a Jeep with the slatch, a snatch block, and uh, that's the kind I would recommend getting. Because I've got to go through all this stuff to get the thing apart. And it would have been better if the thing just twisted, you know, like a clamshell. There we go. Okay. And now, I'll bring this back down. Now, if you see that, tell me if that's just not genius. Now, when I built this, I had a fancy little hook that went on the ladder rung, and then that didn't really serve a purpose so now but I did find that making this quick release is kind of nice nowadays I just kind of hang it around like that it doesn't have too much weight on it and then battery pack fully charged please it's running and then we just grab this and grab this okay we are live and let me get my 12-foot lead. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where's my plug? My plug's right here. Right there. There we go. And then let me close my clutch. I think that's it. And then <clears throat> this should... Look at that. Okay, so now that we've built the crane, now I've got a strap at the bottom and one on either side, and I, it's, it's pretty stout. We're gonna go straight up and straight down with it. When we bring the other air conditioner up, we're gonna leave it in its box, in case I smash into something. Not that that's gonna happen. Uh, but in case I smash into something, the box gets damaged, and who cares about a box? So with that, oh wait, I can bring my tools up on my, watch this little trick. 
Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see if this is going to work for us. I know, right? <laughs> okay. So, this will be exciting. Here we go. Yay! All right, well, I'm going to go up the ladder with these. Uh-oh. I'm dropping stuff. I'll put that in there. It beats climbing the ladder with the tool bag. See, the problem is I'm all twisted here. So let me take the twist out. Okay, here we go. So now that I've got my air conditioner attached here, okay, we're gonna go up. Okay, what I'm doing is I wanna make sure this has enough tension on it. Okay, and I'm gonna come around here. There we go, all right. Come off that thing. And uh, I wanna make sure there's nobody below me. I've done this Oh, I don't know, a whole bunch of times. And there was one time my strap slipped. So I'm looking at my connector. Everything's good. We're going down with it. Okay. Now, uh, here's my lead. And um, what I'm going to be doing is going down with this thing and making sure that it doesn't get hung up on any of the rungs on the ladder, which it does have a tendency to do from time to time. Now I'm on the part of the ladder that's got the steps. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. Okay, Ann's gonna spot us a little bit. Just pull that rope and that should, the orange? Yeah, that should, however you wanna do it. But yeah, it's just getting caught. It's getting caught on that ladder step. There you go, okay. Okay, it's on the ground. Okay, I'm coming down. And now what we'll do is we'll get rid of that one and um, put the new air conditioner on it and carry it up. Okay, folks, so I've got it on the ladder here. I've got it on the cable. I'm going around the base here and I've made it so that there's no way for the cable to slip off. I've taken the cover off because I wanna make sure that I've really grabbed this at a good foundation. If you keep the cover on, you'll be wrapping the whole thing and you might hurt your cover. I've never brought one up with a cover. A lot of times I'll bring this up still in the same box that it came in and I'll just, you know, crisscross the box like a big wrapping present. But uh, this one came on a piece of car a, a wood pallet and just cardboard pieces. So it wasn't stable enough to tow it up. So we're doing it this way. Now on the back, I've got my uh, gasket. So I do want to be careful not to rub those. So I'll be um, going up with it. Oop, that's down. That's cool. One-handed, look at this. Don't tell OSHA, but I'm gonna go up onto the load. That's halfway a joke, halfway kind of bad. Bad because if anything should happen, it's gonna come down the ladder right on top of me. But I don't want that air, air conditioner to touch my rungs, which it's starting to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my body up there. I'll put my lead there. Let's see if I'm still nimble enough to get up on this roof. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go around the other ladder on the back of the coach. I'll meet you on top in a second. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, here we are. Now, 
take my lead. I'm gonna grab this sucker right here. I don't know about you, but that's how I get air conditioners up on roofs. So basically we're shutting down shop. We got the air conditioner installed and now we just reverse all these uh, pieces, parts to make it uh, back to where it was. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. And when we get it all down to the ground, I'll visit with you again. Okay, folks, so the whole crane reduces down to my little giant ladder and what fits inside of this little case here so you got the motor buried in there my control box uh, somebody down the ground control my button here and then I can control it with my 12 foot lead and then a battery battery pack so I'll do my best to put all my links in the description below if you want to build your own and um, or a thought hey I can build them for you yay I just had that thought just this moment ago if I have the time so if this added value to you please give me a thumb up and uh if uh, guys i'm tired <laughs> i've been going all day long and i'm the sun's going down there's a sunset over swim but if this added value to you just give me a thumb up i appreciate that and uh if you like these kind of videos subscribe to our channel marvy works on the youtube and um so this is darren from swim with marvy works saying happy camper say marvy works gotta remember to say that and uh, so we're signing off. We've got two more little tasks to do before we get to go home. So, all right, see you on the next video.